Hi, I'm Brian Jackson. I'm here at Dreamforce, and joining me today is Mark Organ, the CEO of Influitive. Welcome. Glad to be here. So, Mark created a couple of companies in his time as an uh, entrepreneur. He's created Aliqua, and now, more recently, he's created Influitive. And both of those times, Mark, you sort of are creating a new market category uh, beyond just creating a startup, and you're giving a presentation here at Dreamforce that talks about what it means to create a new market category. So uh, share with us now, what, what, how do you define that? How do you know when a startup is creating a new market category? Great. Well, yeah, I do have a definition. I mean, that was based on both my own experience and then also looking at a lot of great you know, category creating uh, companies. And um, so think about, for example, uh, Tesla is a great example, pioneering a new category around all electric performance cars. Uh, so the first thing is that it's fo a focus on a distinct segment of the market, right? So uh, at Tesla, they focus first on uh, green, you know, uh, technophile you know, sort of folks, particularly here in the Bay Area, right? Um, so I think the next thing is uh, a transformational experience. So the not just the act of driving a Tesla, but the whole ownership experience of Tesla is completely unique, right? So that transformational experience is key to key to that. I mean, the third thing is a revolutionary business model, right? So at Tesla, they go direct, they sell their cars in malls, right? Uh, a number of the uh, aspects of the purchasing process that were completely different from you know, your typical experience of buying cars, um, and finally underpinned by disruptive technology, right? So. Think about all the disruptive technology underneath uh, the Tesla. I mean, it's not just the, the revolutionary lithium-ion battery, but you know, even the cloud computing infrastructure that you know allows uh, the car to you know, communicate to things in its environment. Okay, I get it. So overall, it sounds like these startups are really creating a unique type of product that uh, is new to people, and they haven't really, most people haven't heard of it before, and they have to be educated on its use. So I guess that creates a pretty unique position when you are selling that uh, product or service. And I wonder, how does uh, somebody that's in that situation do that? Like, how do they have to approach it differently from a normal startup? Yeah, well, that's really been the focus of, of my research. and. It's, it's amazing, I mean, great category creating companies communicate completely different from your typical company. I mean, the most important thing is that they market the category before they market themselves. And actually that's what makes it hard, right, is that you not only have to you know, market the category that you're in, but that you're also um, you know, a, a good example of that category. Right? So I think that's the most important thing is great category creator takes care of their category first. Um, and so you'll find that in the way that, for example, salesforce.com you know, created the whole no software thing in the beginning. That was a puzzlement when I first saw it, right? But it makes, makes a lot of sense. That was the category that Salesforce was in back in 2000, not the SFA market, not the CRM market, but the no software market, right? Which makes it completely different. Think about Tesla today, you know, how they've taken all their patents and open sourced it to the world. What are they doing with that? What they're doing is that they are encouraging other players, even competitors, of coming into the market, into the all electric car market, because they know that growing the pie, right, makes the whole market more dynamic, and they're making a bet that they will continue to be number one in that market. And another aspect that you're addressing in your presentation, too, is that you need to create buzz, right? And it's all about word of mouth and getting referrals, like uh, getting pe those quality peer-to-peer -peer referrals. And how, how important is that when you're dealing with uh, the creation of new product category, and how do you do it? Yeah, well, I think that's a critical thing. I mean, you know, the one thing about a, a new product category is it often does attract advocates. Just by its very nature, those technophiles, those early adopters that, that, that love you know, new technologies and new approaches do get attracted to it. Great category creators, they really encourage this behavior. They identify these folks, they nurture them, um, they grow them, they add value to these advocates over time. Right? So you see companies creating, for example, communities where their advocates can interact with each other and they can sell new prospects on the idea. Right? They, get very much involved in building whole ecosystems, right? So it's not just, for example, here at salesforce.com, you know, they're celebrating the entire ecosystem of cloud-based companies that are all around it, right? And, you know, so in terms of you know, how you foment advocacy, I mean, I mentioned the community aspect of it. Um, I mean, we have an advocate program and that's, it's kind of interesting that we are a category creator company, but we also make technology that is very useful for companies that do want to go and create a category by, providing a voice and amplifying that voice uh, for those advocates. That's great, Mark, good luck with your presentation today. Thanks so much.
Again, I'm Brian Jackson for itbusiness.ca. Check out our site online for more coverage from Dreamforce 2014.